collage is at the foundations of everything that I do and the way that I think. It's all about taking the world apart and putting it back together. My way of working with collage is really seen through an architectural lens. All the work in the show focuses on architecture and even more specifically, architectural photography. Art and architecture have always been fellow travelers. There's a long tradition of artists, architects, going as far back to Michelangelo, moving forward in history to figures like Piranesi, who's featured in this exhibition. More recently, artists like Gordon Matta Clark, or even my contemporary Amanda Williams and myself. Architectural thinking is always about the future because the things that we design, the spaces that we design, they don't yet exist, so they're fictions. History is written as a series of causes and effects, but the future, I think of not as a line or as linear time, but actually as a space. Collage is able to capture that in a way that no other medium can, because in the collages what you see is a collapse of multiple spaces, multiple perspectives, multiple time periods into a single moment. I think the collages have some visual patterns that run through them. One pattern is a sense of right to left or a sense of progression and movement through a set of spaces. I see those as mirroring the experience we have as we move through any space. We as humans can only experience architecture in time. Buildings always unfold over time in a sequence of spaces that we move through. I think these collages bring that aspect of the experience of architecture, but also the design and the making of things out. I work almost entirely by hand in my creative practice. I don't do this for nostalgic reasons. I'm not opposed to the use of software or digital media in general, but I find that working by hand works closer to the speed of my thought. The physical engagement with materials, with knives, with pencils, with paper, with other kinds of materials provides a certain kind of feedback which affects my way of thinking and in the end affects the results in the work. For me it's important that collage remains what I call a medium of risk. So when you cut something you cannot uncut it. You can tape it back together or glue it back together but that cut is always there and so therefore that encourages a deeper thinking because you can't simply undo what you've done as one might be able to do using software. Part of the power of these collages is the individual parts of them are very concrete. They're photographs of things that exist in the world that are real. These maps are from the history of Berlin. There's nothing fantastic about either of them, but in cutting them up, in repurposing them and changing them, he's taken bits of the world to imagine some other world. Collage is more than just a medium that involves cutting and pasting and gluing. It's also a way of thinking. To quote our colleague, uh, Jonathan Lethem, he talks about collage as having been the art form of the 20th century and probably the 21st. Collage is really about putting precisely the right wrong things together to make the new. Thank you.